Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Before I start, I'd like to tell you that uh, this is the uh, recap of the earlier stream. However, if you want to join me on the actual stream, uh, check out the Good Free Photos channel. That's in the description, as well as the pinned in the first, uh, first comment. I also have a Crypto Daily Updates channel, and that will encompass all the day's great crypto news and put it into one place or one video. So subscribe to those two channels. And let's get started with the recap. First, let's start with VeChain. Um, I didn't know about this until the stream. Someone told me on the stream that VeChain is now tracking face masks. Jason Rockwood, the CEO of VeChain USA, actually tweeted, retweeted this on Real Items. Real Items is using VeChain. And it says, like, the next Real Items verified are KN95 masks from Tricol Group. Capacity to make 200,000 plus masks per day. All orders made through realitems.io and our partners will have VeChain NFT for product authenticity on each box. So VeChain is used to track the product authenticity to make sure there's not defective masks. Um, obviously, we know that the U.S. has reversed its position on masks and is telling everyone right now that they should wear masks so they go out. So that actually might be a lot of business, maybe a lot of transactions. Real, I don't know how big of a player Real Items is in this whole mask business, but um, they are using a VeChain NFT chip to actually track uh, the 200,000 masks per day on from Tricoli Group on Real Items. So uh, VeChain is doing its part in this pandemic to fight it, and that's really good news for VeChain. Maybe it'll lead, uh, lead to other things um, after this, but they are being used to track a lot of masks per day that could, could possibly result in more transactions because Real Items has said that um, all the masks will have a VeChain NFT for product authentic uh, authenticity. So that's really cool for VeChain, something to get publicity, uh, a product that everyone needs right now, and hopefully uh, people will get it and they'll get good products because of um, VeChain. So the second thing is Brave has actually reached 500K publishers. That's a pretty good benchmark. I'm one of those publishers. Uh, we probably signed up because we got like Brave tokens for people viewing our website and such. It's a pretty cool thing, um, but they've also become the fourth largest uh, com communications app in Japan. And that's actually, they've actually surpassed Discord in that. So Brave ecosystem is continuing to grow. They do need people to actually buy into their system. They need advertisers to buy into the system, but the more eyeballs they have looking at their ads, the more likely advertisers are gonna buy into the system. Hopefully they can increase the number of BAT users and not only BAT users that are actually surfing, uh, not only BAT users that are actually surfing to actually you know just get rewards, but BAT users that will actually buy BAT to donate to uh, the, the creators that they actually like. Because that's what's really, really going to help the ecosystem. So hopefully that works out and uh, we can make a lot of money off Brave. CSC Casino Coin has made a bankroll app. Um, you can actually, it's called the Bankroll Manager. You can actually download it today at the Apple iStore. And Mike Novogratz, um, he's really, really bullish on cryptocurrency, but he made the tweet that he actually made the statement in an interview that he might actually be leaving Bitcoin if it doesn't reach 20K by the end of this year. Do I believe him? Hell no, I don't believe him. I think if it's 14, 15K at the end of this year, he'll definitely stay on. Even if it's lower than it is right now at the end of this year, he'll probably stay on because he's been like, like really bullish on crypto altogether. And I think Novogratz is smart enough to know that the cycle is four years and he'll stay on at least until the end of 2021. So I don't believe him for a second uh, when he actually says that he might actually get off crypto if it actually doesn't moon this year. Because I think that'd be really, really dumb uh, for Mike Novogratz to do. So that is the wrap up for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. And remember to subscribe to other channels and uh, hit the bell notifications on those as well. Join me on my live stream. Thank you and have a nice day.